For us, it is all about writing computational software that can help solve problems in chemistry, in proteins, and in sort of structures and thinking in those kinds of ways. What we're really trying to do is make use of the fact that it's so possible now to collect large amounts of data. And in fact, sometimes large doesn't mean billions. Sometimes large just means more than one data point and use that to help us predict useful properties. Now that might be predict on a computer whether a small molecule binds to a protein or does not, or it might be predict the three-dimensional shape of the protein in the first place, or it might be used in a design kind of sense where you make changes and you want to know, does this change make this molecule a safe molecule for somebody to take or does it make it dangerous for someone to take? Often in any scientific question, you're optimizing multiple factors. That's a really complex landscape to optimize against. You, if you think in terms of a drug, you want a drug to bind to your target of interest. But you'd also like it to be orally available. You'd also like to be able to make it. But you'd be able to like to be able to make it at large scale. You'd also like it to be safe, so to have no other side effects. Now, if you think of an individual working on that, it's very hard for them to consider all of those optimization parameters at once. And even though we're trying to, we can only understand small amounts of each one. You can completely change that idea if you think about it in terms of working with that on a computer. So I'll give you an example. Let's imagine you could do drug discovery in that way. This is, and I don't mean the whole thing. Let's say you have a target protein and I want a computer system and I want it to work entirely on a computer with robots making the molecules. The computer decides what would be the best molecules to make to target that protein. The robots make those molecules, they test them, they send back the information into the software. The software then decides what would be the next best steps. It repeats this until you have a molecule which you are satisfied has the set of properties you want. And you could add in all the properties you want into that system. So you could start with, well, does it bind? But then you could get more complex. You could say, OK, I want it to be specific. I want to know it doesn't bind to these other things. Um, I also want it only to be this size. I want to know that I could scale it in a you know, manufacturing plant to be able to make enough of it and that I can make it pure. Now, can we do that now? No, absolutely not. Do we have lots of pieces that make that not sound like a totally stupid idea? Yes, 